Hey guys, how you doing? So, fear is the mind killer, right? This is a line from the movie Dune, and it's great advice. It's great advice. So let me tell you a little story. Back in 1998, 1999, the whole world started going mad crazy about Y2K. The Y2K threat, year 2000 threat. Oh my God. God, it's going to be terrible. So if you guys are not familiar, back around that time, 1998, 1999, there was this big scare. People thought that all the computer systems were going to crash and burn. Nuclear missiles were going to fly from their silos. Planes were going to fall from the sky. Yada, yada, yada. Bank accounts were going to be wiped out. So people started prepping and people started making huge amounts of money on this. Huge amounts of money. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, I was at a fancy sushi restaurant, and a guy sitting uh, next to me, well, nearby, billionaire. And he made all his money on the Y2K fear, the panic, the panic. Check out old articles. You can probably find videos on YouTube where everybody's screaming and hollering about Y2K, it's going to kill us all, blah, blah, blah. So being a rational nerdling back in the day, I just uh, went on my Windows 98 and I advanced a clock to the year 2000, and nothing happened. And nothing happened. And when Y2K finally did hit, nothing happened. But during that panic season, when all the news stations were talking about the doom of Y2K, and you had all these professionals, all these experts were coming on, these computer experts were coming on to, oh no, Y2K is a thing. And they started selling a lot of services. Oh, you got to get your computer systems updated. So this billionaire, he made all his money during this, this panic of the Y2K. And he became a, a multi-billionaire, or maybe just a single billionaire. You know. But he, anyway, he's a billionaire. And it was all nothing. There was nothing to be afraid of. There was nothing to fix. It was, it was all BS. It was all a lie. And uh, we see this over and over again at least in my lifetime, I'm 170 years old now, in my lifetime, I've seen this type of BS panic that is uh, propagated through society and everybody goes along with it because a certain amount of people are buying from it. So keep that in mind. This is um, a cynical way in which certain people will take advantage of others by creating fear. Uh, they'll create a fear of an impending disaster like Y2K, profit from it, then nothing happens, nobody's held to account for this situation. So I don't know, you can think of other situations perhaps, perhaps. but all I want to bring to your attention is that this, uh, this happens. I gave you one example, Y2K. I like to talk about Y2K because I'm a software developer, so it's kind of in my boathouse, you know, my wheelhouse. Um, and it's reflective of something I talk about in other videos through to make mountains out of molehills of potential threats. Our brains automatically do this. It artificially magnifies things. So this is part of the one of the lessons in the lizard wizard course. It teaches you you got to be mindful of potential threats and so forth, but don't let them overpower you because they are being exaggerated. The possibility of harm coming to you is definitely being exaggerated by your own brain because of the things I just discussed. So there you go. Don't let people Y2K you because uh, it just you know, puts you in a bad situation.